Hey, what's going on, y'all? Google has finally came out and announced and actually showcased their new brand new operating system they're working on. It's called Google Chrome OS. And this is the operating system they've been working on quite a while here, and they finally unveiled it today or at the time when I shot this video. And so what it is is um, it's basically just like Google Chrome, the browser. That's, that's what it is, kind of like a modified version of that. So if you ever use Google Chrome for your uh, as your internet browser, that's what the entire operating system is. And it only uses web applications, so that's one thing you have to be in, actually connected to the internet to be using this operating system. But it only uses web applications. You can't download an application on it. It still though uses the familiar and pretty good tab interface that Google Chrome actually uses. I really like that interface. Um, so it does use that interface, and so it is very lightweight. It is very fast to boot up. It boots up in just a matter of seconds, maybe three or four seconds, um, and it shuts down just as fast. And, and that really uh, provides you, if you're really trying to get on the go, boom, get on the internet and get straight forward to it, it works very well as that. Um, now, a couple of things, a couple of little notes to know about that is um, it doesn't install on your traditional hard drive. It only installs on the solid state storage on SSD. So that chops out a big percentage of people who can even install this operating system on their computer. Plus, also the um, the device or the computer it has to be Google certified, so it's only going to be a, from a list of devices that Google says you can actually run Chrome on. But the good thing is that it's going to be open source, so you know anything that's open source, there's always somebody out there that's going to figure out to have this thing working. They're going to figure out a way to have it working on all computers, um, and they can figure out a way probably to have me be able to boot it up in VMware Fusion or Boot Camp on my Mac or something like that. Um, so. Um, and that's that's kind of what in a nutshell it is Google Chrome is really just Google Chrome the browser modified a little bit but using as your operating system now let me get to my opinion on it I don't I don't see this really taking off as far as everybody's gonna be a must-need download I really think this is really going over a very small percentage of people who use netbooks for what they are netbooks not just you know cheap computers um, they're using it for a computer that they can just pull out of their backpack they need to check the email or do something real fast and just that it's only internet only pull out the netbook get on there do what you need to do close it and go I think it's really gonna be towards that majority of people not for you know 85 90 percent of everybody else out there who's gonna not gonna be wanting to install this as your main operating system because you can't it's really limited it's kind of like going back uh, taking a step back forward now back forward taking a step back instead of forward uh, I see where Google is kind of aimed about this because uh, there are a lot of nice uh, good web applications actually coming out these days and in the future even though you know like iLife and all that stuff with Apple is gonna be going to the web as well I just don't see that really taking off for another couple of years maybe even three years um, and even at that point it's still gonna be a lot of things that that you just need to actually be on your computer as far as power um, gaming a, a lot of different stuff so uh, I, I think the Google operating system is a very nice neat idea it looks clean clean cut interface like Google always does I just don't see it very being very practical for a lot of people out there so that's just my first look first take on this It's not due out for at least another year to be even be launched um, and then the beta is kind of still a little ways off it is going to be free so that's another good thing free and open source is always good for a lot of people um, but uh, definitely we'll keep an eye on this but leave a comment or a video response I'm really interested to see what y'all think about it is it gonna be something that you're gonna replace as your primary operating system or you think or do you think it's good in general or what what things do you think about it so go ahead and leave a comment or video response to this video but this has been so you knows best here and I will catch you later peace